Each race on Tamriel is utterly distinctive with its own unique flavor, and while it may come as no surprise that these races are inspired by our own world, you may be unaware of all the parallels. Take the orcs for example. Tribal by nature, the orcs boast a proud nomadic culture while being feared and often hated by the other races. Many believe Bethesda drew on the inspiration of the Huns of Central Asia when creating the orcs. This is most readily seen in their armor and weapon design, where their helmets especially bear a striking resemblance to those worn by the Huns. Next, take the elven Thalmor. Yes, everyone knows they mirror the Nazis with their feelings of superiority, but you're most likely missing the bigger picture here. The Thalmor mirror the Nazis in more ways than one. As a matter of fact, their stories are strikingly similar. Like the Nazis, the Thalmor started as a minority political faction in their homeland. There, they were tolerated but mistrusted. Then, both were elevated to power during a time of crisis. The Nazis during the economic crisis in Germany, and the Thalmor during the oblivion crisis in the Somerset Isles. Once in power, both annexed genetically similar races nearby. For the Nazis, it was Austria. For the Thalmor, it was their wood elf cousins in Valenwood. Both Nazis and Thalmor went to attack their more powerful neighbors and succeed. In the beginning, anyway. The list goes on and on. The closer you look at a game like Skyrim, the closer you're looking at the pages of real life history. Literally. For example, complete a certain quest for the Daedric Prince Hermaeus Mora and you're awarded with the Agma Infinium, a very sinister looking tome. Turn to the second page and you'll spot a runic wheel that is uncannily similar to the Vegvasir. The Vegvasir is a real world Icelandic sigil that traces its origins as far back as the 17th century. As a matter of fact, the Agma Infinium may have a connection to Gaelic mythology as well. Agma is one of the twin gods of wisdom and enlightenment. It makes sense this tome of forbidden knowledge would bear his name. The historical tidbits don't stop there. Alduin, the main antagonist of Skyrim, is said to be inspired by Nihogr, a dragon found in Norse mythology. Nihogr is a dragon that feasts on the dead, much like Alduin feeds on the souls of the dead in Sovereign Guard. Legend also depicts Nihogr as a symbol of death and destruction, and he is also pictured gnawing at the roots of the world tree Yggdrasil. Similarly, Alduin is known as the World Eater and the Nordic God of Destruction. And Skyrim isn't the only game in the series that likes to borrow from history. Those who played Elder Scrolls Oblivion might remember the Thieves Guild questline and where the player character had to find the boots of Spring Hill Jack, which gives a permanent boost to the player's acrobatic skill, along with the ability to fall long distances without being injured. What you probably didn't know was that spring heeled Jack is actually a very popular figure in English folklore. During the Victorian era, the legend of spring heeled Jack spoke of a bizarre man with the ability to make extraordinary leaps, falling great distances, and walking away unharmed. Speaking of falling great distances, you probably weren't playing Morrowind for very long before this happened. A wizard falls from the sky and dies right before your eyes. On his body, you find the scrolls of Akarian Flight, which if used, allows the player to soar through the air right before falling to their death. The scrolls of Akarian Flight are actually named after Icarus, a character in Greek mythology who attempted to fly using wings made from feathers and wax. In the story, Icarus flew too close to the sun, which melted the wax, causing him to plunge to his death not unlike a certain wizard. Do you know some historical or literary references found in the Elder Scrolls series that we didn't cover here? Share them in the comment section below and we might include it in a future episode. If you liked this show and its format, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Also, be sure to follow the ShoddyCast on Facebook and Twitter if you haven't already, where we'll be posting even more hidden history for your viewing pleasure. I've been Josh, we'll catch you later.